Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Pixie Love. You guys can call me Pixie. And today we're doing some fat acceptance TikTok. Actually, most of these was found under fat positive, but it's under the same category of craziness, okay? Let's get into these. I'm excited, let's go. This is your daily reminder that hot people do not go on diets for the summer. Hot people are working on unlearning fat phobia and being anti-racist. Stop cutting out your food groups, Diane. Let's just talk about the elephant in the room for me. Hot people are unlearning fat phobia and racism. Like those two things going hand in hand. I'm really getting sick and tired of having to say this argument every time I do a video because god damn it frustrating. It's, it's, it's so, fu you know why it's so annoying? Every single time, nine times out of ten, it's some fucking white girl talking about how being fat is racist. How the fuck is it so racist when 90% of the fat people on TikTok are white? God damn it. You act like only you, only black people can be fucking fat, but yet most fat people I fucking see are white. I've seen more fat white people than I do black people. Black people tend to be more overweight, yes, but I see more obese and morbidly obese white people than I do black people. And I definitely see more fat white girls on TikTok and on freaking Reddit talking about how being fat is so racist, but yet you're the only ones fucking saying it. Like, it's so frustrating. And I don't want to make this thing about race, but since you're the one bringing up racism and talking about it in the hands of black people, not just... And I think that's the more frustrating. You're not talking about racism when it comes to any other group of people. You're specifically putting fatness with blackness. You're not putting fatness with Latinos. You're not putting fatness with Asians. You're not putting fatness with indigenous people. You're not putting fatness with white people. You're specifically tying fatness to blackness and those two things do not fucking go hand in hand. That's all I have to say about this shit. The rest of this, I don't give a fuck. Just that, that gets on my nerves and I'm goddamn tired of it. All right, two things. <laughs> First of, the song that she was trying to lip sync to was Soap by Melody Martinez. And like, if you can hear the audio, which I know you can because I have to mute it. If you're gonna be lip syncing on TikTok, please do it correctly. Like, just do it correctly. Secondly, to be more serious about this topic, this is 100% relatable for me. I did at one point which wish to be bulimic. I wish to be able to throw up my food to lose weight. Because I know I couldn't starve myself. I couldn't do that. But I wish I could throw up. But, and I've tried. I did try to make myself throw up. Can't do it because I don't have a gag, gag reflex. So, <laughs> Yay me. But it's it is very depressing and it's 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 scary. And it's it is a reality for a lot of fat people wanting to have an eating disorder to make you lose weight. It's and that I completely see your point with this. I'm not gonna disagree with why that's horrible, but that doesn't mean that wanting to lose weight in a healthy way is still a bad thing. That doesn't mean that being fat is still okay. Doesn't mean, you know, two wrongs don't make it okay. Like, you know what I mean? Like, just because one option is wrong doesn't mean the other option is. Yeah, and I, I, I think I just said being fat is not okay. That's not what I mean. I really don't care if someone's fat. I don't care if you are fat, but it's just make sure you are aware of the consequences of what being fat is. You can be fat, you can go off, don't care. Just don't get mad at other people for wanting to lose weight. Because one person's weight loss has nothing to do with anyone else. It's their own personal struggle, battle with themselves. Please do not be so self-centered that when someone else is lose weight, you assume that's because they don't want to look like you. It's not about you. It's about them. So get off your high horse and stop only thinking about yourself. You skinny bitches are evil and you need to be destroyed! So I've talked about this before. These people are so obsessed with skinny people. They act like the problem is skinny people. The problem isn't skinny people. The problem is your obsession 
with skinny people and how you just assume that anyone who's skinny life is easy they don't have to deal with struggles the world is handed to them on a silver platter I think I've said it before I'm gonna say it again it's like how incel thinks women life are they're like oh women don't have to do anything they just get to bat their pretty little eyes and men do whatever they want for them and women never have to work hard or they don't have any struggles in life and blah 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 literally how you guys see skinny people is how incel see women it's like the same thing. You're so obsessed with, like, incels are so obsessed with women, but yet they think women are, like, lower class than them. Same with you guys. You're so obsessed with skinny people, yet you think that they're lower class than you. Like, why are you so obsessed with something that's beneath you? Come on. Fat bodies are worthy if they're healthy or they're not. And if you say that that's not true, I'll kick you in the crotch. Who says that your bodies aren't worthy? You get teased about how you look and how people are like, well, it's unhealthy to look that way anyway, so I'm in the right for making fun of you. You're saying that people aren't saying your bodies aren't worthy. No one's saying your bodies aren't worthy. And I get it. People can be really freaking disgusting and rude to fat people, but I promise you, one, as a woman, that's in general. No matter how beautiful or skinny or healthy a woman is, there is some most likely guy Sometimes other women in their comments talking about how disgusting they are, how ugly they are, how this, that. Women in general can never be correct. We can never look perfect. We can never, even Beyonce gets negative comments. I remember I had a security guard talking about how Beyonce was fat because when she bent over, she had back rolls. And the video he was talking about was her video with Shakira. Because when she bent over, she had like little rolls. She had skin rolls. So like, it's... It's frustrating. No matter what you look like, your body's gonna get ridiculed. And a lot of these people think that only fat bodies are what's getting made fun of, what people think are disgusting. No, it's not just fat bodies. Every body type on the internet is made fun of. Okay? So, if you didn't know that, now you know. It's not just you. Let's continue. You say you're just concerned, but I know that's insincere. And if you don't stop trolling, I will kick you in the rear. I want to see one of you fat bitches try because I would beat your ass. Try kicking me in my rear because I would beat your ass. Okay? And I'm not concerned. I really don't care if you're fat. What I care about, like I said before, is the misinformation you spread about being fat. And definitely the misinformation about how fatness is hand tied with blackness. That shit pisses me off. And that's why I do these videos. Also, it's a motivate for me to lose weight by talking about this and having an audience. Makes me, you know, hold myself more accountable. But yeah, I don't really care if you're fat. I really don't care if you have a heart attack and die. I can honestly care less. Said it before, I'm a heartless bitch. Don't give a fuck. But what I do care about is the misinformation and just the blatant racism hide behind wokeness. And this is not a virtue and there's no reason to gloat. And if you post a before and after, I'll kick you in the throat. Oh, <sighs> okay, see, I haven't heard this one. Who and who said then this is a virtue, okay? And why are you so mad about someone posting a before and after picture? They're not posting it because like, oh look, I'm skinny now, so that means I'm hot. They're posting it because to get from being someone that's your guys' size to being someone who is in a healthy weight range takes a lot of dedication and hard work. And hard work is attractive to a lot of people. And that's what people see. But they're not posting it because like, oh, I'm skinny now and I'm gorgeous. They're posting like, look what I did. They accomplished something. Whether you agree with their accomplishment or not, they accomplished something. First of all, you can try to kick me in my throat but I don't think you're I don't think you're flexible enough to get there. Probably taller than you hoes. So let's keep going. It's okay to have See, see, she can't even lift her leg. First of all, the girl had to get on her knees, on her fucking knees for you to kick her in the throat and you can't even get your fucking foot past her belly button. That's really sad. Okay? Cuz the girl, the big girl, I'm going to assume I'm around her weight because I'm assuming she's shorter than me and she looks bigger than me, so I'm assuming she's around 300 pounds. So she's maybe a little give or take. I could kick my leg up that high to kick someone in the throat. So, like, I knew it. I said, I was like, bitch, you're not even flexible enough to do it. Oh, my God. And, like, I don't know why these guys are making me so mad. I know we don't get mad at these people or whatever, but, like, these, just, they're making me fucking mad. And I think it's the threat of violence and it's just getting me in the mood to fight. So, like, that's what I'm, like, it's, like... That's why I'm calling them a bitch, you know? 
okay? Very, very sorry, but like, they're getting on my nerves. <laughs> Let's let them finish, okay? The throat, it's okay to have a big belly, so you gotta wear double chins. And if you're all like you, that's gross, I'll kick you in the shins. Okay, I wasn't even paying attention to what they said. Um, what they talk about? Cellulite? Um, okay. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. They really want, for someone who probably couldn't really survive a fight they don't have enough energy to do it they really want to start one like they really want to start a fight because i'm saying if one of these girls was in my face and i said something that they didn't like and they kick me in my shin best believe the girl can her ass beat if you can threaten to hit somebody and especially start violence with somebody you got to be able to back it up i don't start fights i have never hit a person first and i will never hit a person first all my fights are in self-defense I can take as much talking, but the moment you put your hands on me, the moment everything's over, okay? And so, you would never hear me threatening to punch the body in the face, or I'm going to do this to someone. No, I won't. But I will always be like, if you touch me, I will destroy you. These people, they're asking for a fight, yet they don't have the stamina or the power to actually fight somebody. Why are you so, you so ready to hit somebody, but you can't actually back up your own freaking words come on man i know this is a joke i know they're really not gonna hurt somebody but like i'm just saying if you threaten any people on the internet someone's gonna take this serious and someone might come and slap a slap a bitch okay other bodies aren't your business no need to be unkind it's 2021 and it's that people's time to shine okay that our bodies is nobody's business and yes that's true but in the age of the internet, once you put yourself out there, you can't control what people are saying about you. I can't control if someone comes in my comments and calls me the n-word. I can't control that. I'm putting myself out there. That is a possibility for some. For that is a possibility to happen. I know the bigger my channel gets, the more people are going to be hating on what I do and what I have to say and judging me before even watching my videos. And that's a risk I'm willing to take, and that's something I don't really care about. So if you're putting yourself on the internet, especially like this, showing your bellies and stuff like that, you're going to get hate. Is that okay? No. But don't think it's specifically to your body type. A skinny girl in a bikini can post a bikini pics and someone's going to hate it. Someone's going to oh, say, call her fat. Someone's going to be like, oh, you shouldn't be wearing that. Someone's going to call her a hoe. Like When you put yourself out on the internet for anyone to see, anyone can say what they want to say. And it's up to you to either listen to what them, they're saying or filter it out and ignore it. You can't put yourself on the internet and expect everyone to tiptoe around you because they don't know how sensitive you are. That's not how the world's going to work. Once you leave your safe space, and trust me, I'm sorry, but the internet is not a safe space. No matter if a forum says, oh, this is a safe space, it's not a fucking safe space. There are no safe spaces on the internet. So once you leave your space, your... <laughs> Once you leave your safe space of real life with your friends who understands you and babies your fucking emotions, you're going to have to get used to people not fucking babying you. Sorry, not sorry. We all have to deal with it. It's time for you to put on your big girl pants and deal with reality. People don't like you. Get over it. It's okay to be seen and you deserve to take up space. And if anyone says otherwise, I'll kick them in the face. Once again, you can't actually kick somebody in the face because you're not flexible enough. Second of all, where does this, oh, it's okay for us to take up space. Where did that come from? Who said you can't take up space? Yes, we're choosing islands, but that's to do it too. And if you're feeling very attacked, then you have some work to do. At least they brought up the fact that they are choosing violence. And once again, when you choose violence, you have to accept the consequences of those actions. So if you come to me, bitch, I will beat your ass. I'm just saying. How do fat folks choose, choose violence? Like, is it just because they don't like you or is it the ones that like, oh, tell you to, you know, harm yourself and stuff like that? Cause yeah, that's not okay. No, so that's, but like, I just like, I don't feel like fat, like I don't feel like fat fools are going to you and be like, oh, if you continue to be fat, I'm gonna kick you in your face. Oh, if you continue to show your belly, I'm gonna stomp on your throat. Like, I don't think they're choosing the same type of violence as you are. This one is funny AF. I kind of love this video. I, I love this. I This is a good one to end off with because I actually love this. Hold on, I gotta laugh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You guys have to watch it first before I start laughing. Oh my God, okay. I love this man. <laughs> Why 
why is this so funny? <laughs> I don't care about the other person. I get her. I'm laughing at him. This one's funny without her, okay? She's a little funny too. She was ready to fight, but like, I love that. <laughs> also, I don't think a lot of people are gonna agree with me, but I find that very attractive. <laughs> but like, I love this. this I needed this, because that last video really had me angry. I'm glad I saved this for last, because this just gives me a laugh. I love this. So this is, let's watch it one more time. I got to. I never play a video twice, but we're watching it again. <laughs> okay, she's funny too. She's like, okay. Oh my god. Okay. I love this video. I needed this. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like. In a little bit, there's going to be two videos on your screen. One is going to be my most recent upload. The other one is going to be one that YouTube recommends for you. I suggest checking either one of them out because they're bangers because I made them. You guys should also subscribe. My little icon is going to be in the middle. I do videos Monday through Friday, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>